Are you looking to start utilizing the power of AI to help you with content creation and speeding up your workflow? Well, if that's the case, you have made it to the right video. So in today's video, I'm going to be diving into a tool that I've been playing around with called Write Blogger. And so I'm going to bring you behind the scenes and show you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, the pros and the cons and all of the fun stuff. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, I'm going to be diving into Write Blogger, the AI tool for bloggers. So just for a little context here before we dive into it, from what I understand, Write Blogger uses open AI in the back end, kind of just like ChatGBT does. But the difference is that with ChatGBT, you have to kind of understand like prompt engineering and chaining your prompts and all of that which as a blogger or an online business owner that's juggling a lot of things already, having to learn how to like use and chat and prompt an AI software can be pretty overwhelming. Write Blogger as a tool is like an option in the market for people that don't wanna mess with all of that, that don't wanna deal with the prompting, that don't wanna go deep into those kind of things. They just wanna utilize the power of AI in a way that feels easier. So with Write Blogger, as you're gonna see, they kind of simplify it with the dashboard and they create like separate tools to pull out and manage different pieces of content. It's actually pretty cool. So let's just head into the screen share so I can show you around. Okay, so right now we're looking at the Write Blogger homepage. And if we scroll down, we can see a cute little photo snippet of like how the back end of the tool works but we're just gonna dive into the back end of the tools itself because I currently have an account with them. So I'm just gonna click on tools. We get taken back to the tool dashboard. And on the left-hand side here, you're basically gonna see the tools categorized. But like at first glance, you're like, it doesn't seem like that many, Mariah. What are you talking about? Well, when you click this cute little arrow, bam. All of these pop up here. Okay, so like I said in the intro, what I like about Write Blogger is that they've kind of chunked the prompts that you would potentially put into ChatGPT into these specific tools so that there's like less wondering and questioning and like kind of like stunting your own creativity, I guess, because they prompt you for each tool. So like with ChatGBT, if you've used that, when you open up the tool, you're kind of hit with just like a blank screen. And it's like, okay, now you have to figure out like how to prompt it, like what to put into that chat in order to get what you want out of the AI software. Write Blogger just makes it super easy because they break it down into like input sections for you. Okay, so... Like if we click post ideas here, we can just type in a topic or keyword. So we'll just do Google Analytics because it's sitting right here. And then we can choose tone and writing style. So we can just go ahead and choose whichever one we want. Let's just do persuasive. And then you get to choose your language and then click generate. So it usually only takes a couple seconds in order to start generating, which is pretty cool but you can scroll down and see. So these are all of the blog post ideas that it gave just from one keyword. So there's quite a bit. And the cool thing is if I was like, okay, listen, I love this idea, like from data to action, leveraging Google Analytics to make informed business decisions. A, that sounds so click worthy. Thank you so much. So I'm basically gonna click copy and then I can have a document open where it's just like, blog post ideas, and then paste it in there, okay? So they make it pretty easy to copy things from it too, which is really important. So the other thing that I wanted to go into is the tool that I have been using specifically. So I use the YouTube video description thing because to be honest, like I'll outline a video or have an idea for a YouTube video, but then when it comes to creating the video description, I get stuck. And so that's what I come to write blogger for most of the time is like, yo, I have this video. 
write me a description because I don't feel like summarizing it. I literally just created a whole video about it. So you can see down here, this is the previous um, ones that I've ran through in Write Blogger. And so I did it for the one for SEMrush keyword research for beginners. And you can choose your tone and writing style again. And we can just choose, let's just do excited. And you can click generate. So just like the other tool, it only takes a couple seconds, which is really great. But this is where my first con or like the thing that I'm not really a fan of in this tool. So if you notice like what it spit out, it says, we'll walk you through. Will, it's a me. You know what I mean? So it's like, it doesn't make sense. I can't right now just copy and paste this into my YouTube video description. I have to go through and change the perspective of it and change it to I'll walk you through step by step. Okay, so I do wish that there was like a box here where it's like I could choose if I was like a we or a me. You know what I'm saying? And I do think that the developers are working on it because one of the things that I love about this tool specifically, and I literally just did this like two weeks ago because I ran into this issue, is that in the tool, they have a feedback form where it pops up and you can contact the developers specifically. So I literally filled this out and I put the, a little bit more than a question, but I kind of just gave like an overview of what I was wishing this tool had. And then I got a response within a few days and they were like, that's a genius idea. We've actually been thinking that too. We're going to get it rolling. So that's one of the things that I love about the tool is that it's really created by a super small team. And so they take all of your feedback into consideration because the team behind Write Blogger cares a lot about AI and thinks that it's so cool, as do I, but they've noticed that like other people in their circles and like bloggers were overwhelmed with using it. So that's where this tool came from. Like the two people behind this tool are bloggers themselves. So that's what I absolutely love about it is the fact that it's still like a newer AI tool with a small team that cares and so like your feedback as a user actually matters when like a lot of softwares bigger softwares out there they will take your feedback with a grain of salt so that is something that i love about this tool so the other thing that i like is that they are always adding more tools to it so i think right now they have i think it's 40 tools but when i first started messing around with this they only had around 30 maybe 25 tools so it's like i know that write blogger is a priority for the developers and the people behind it because they're consistently not only adding new tools but they're asking their users for feedback and they're going in and trying to like make these tools even better and they're consistently going in to like debug it all of the time because they're bloggers that also use the tool too. So they're not kind of just like waiting for the users to tell them about a bug. They're usually one of the first ones to find it. Okay, so something that I wish was a little different is when you're diving into the tools like we saw, let's just do the paragraph one. Okay, so you can go ahead and put in a topic in a phrase, which is really good. And then again, we have a place to choose the tone and writing style. What I wish there was is like a way to set a default tone and writing style so that I didn't have to go in and remember which one I liked and remember which one I was using. So that would be cool if I could kind of set it as a default setting. So that way, as I'm like popping around to all of these tools, by default, my specified tone and writing style would already be chosen versus me having to go and like click it for every single one. Now, this isn't a make or break thing. This is just something that I wish that they had with the tool. So one of the things that when I was using this, I also realized would be really helpful is I'm just going to view this like old one that I was testing. So basically the topic and phrase was explanation of WordPress themes for service-based businesses. And so the AI tool would generate it, but then there wasn't this button of edit and run again. So it's like I had to keep re-putting in this topic and phrase if I wanted to choose a different tone or writing style, which was honestly just a pain in the butt. So actually I reached out to the developers of WriteBlogger because <laughs> I feel like I'm one of those users that it's like, ah, this would be nice. And like, I always have so many ideas. So I appreciate tools and companies that like 
care about our perspective. But anyways, so when I was doing that, I was like, ooh, it's such a pain in the butt. It would be so cool if there was an edit and run again button. Well, I didn't call it an edit and run again button, but it's basically what it is. So if you don't like what it came out with, or you want to mess with the tone and writing style, or you want to mess with the topic and phrase, you can click edit and run again. And then you can choose a different tone or writing style. And then you can also like switch up your topic and phrase. So it's like, Maybe I didn't want explanation there. I just wanted to see what it would populate with WordPress themes for service-based businesses. So let's generate that. And so it basically will regenerate it without you having to like re-click and re-enter these inputs here, which is really helpful. So overall, honestly, I think that this tool is an amazing option. I think they really hit the nail on the head when it comes to making AI easier to interact with and making AI way more approachable. Overall, I think that these tools are genius, honestly. Like there's an FAQ where it's like if you wanted to create an FAQ page or like add an FAQ into a blog post, you can just type in your topic or keyword. Like you can get to check if it includes answers or not, use HTML, and then you can generate like a full list of Q&A. So we can view this old one that I did about uh, Google Analytics. Like, this is so easy to copy and paste, okay? So speaking of copying and pasting, even if you're using the article writer, and so like you're putting in your topic or keyword, and you're having an AI tool, not just write blogger, if you're having AI create any tool, then make sure that you're not just like copying and pasting what it generates for you and publishing it on your blog, okay? So when it comes to AI, it really is helpful for speeding up your workflow, but we have to put our own perspective in there. We have to put our own examples, our own thoughts, and kind of our own brand voice, okay? So this has honestly been like one of the issues with me using AI is like how I talk is how I write. So my blog posts sound very like me. So it's literally impossible for me to like use an article writer tool and then copy and paste it and then like publish it on my blog without changing anything because the tone and the style just doesn't sound like me. So just keep that in mind if you're going to use any AI tool in order to generate like long pieces of content or even just like a post introduction. I honestly love this, like the post introduction and the post conclusion tool because it's like, Sometimes it's even harder to write the intro or the outro versus like the meat and potatoes of the article. So it's cool that they have this tool in here to kind of give you a place to kind of go in and test and tweak. Like they're giving you something to start with and then it's just easier to get creative and to make it your own. So overall, in terms of like my thoughts and feelings on WriteBlogger, I think it's an amazing tool. I think that it makes AI, like I said, super approachable, super easy to use. It also like when you're using it, you don't get too stuck in a rabbit hole like you would with ChatGBT because you don't have the consistent conversation back and forth. So it really helps kind of speed up your workflow process of content creation. So that's really cool. And I'm excited because I'm pretty sure that they're about to launch a tool where it's like you can input your YouTube video URL and then Write Blogger will generate a blog post based on the YouTube video URL. So I'm super excited for that tool to be released. When it releases, maybe I'll play around with it and create a new video. So let me know in the comments if that is something that you're interested in. And then the only other honestly downside about this is kind of like the the flip side to why the tool is so great so the only other thing is like we can't talk back to the tool like we can't talk back to write blogger like we would chat gbt so sometimes it might be a little bit more difficult to get exactly what you want because you can't send follow-up prompts but i think that's also what makes the tool so easy to use so Overall, that's kind of just like my opinion, my review on Write Blogger. If you're interested in diving into Write Blogger and kind of like figuring out and playing with the tool itself, I would love and appreciate it if you use my affiliate link, which is, it can be found at writeblogger.com slash Mariah, or that link is in this video description below. So when you go ahead and you purchase an account or a package or whatever it is, when you do that, I do make a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that commission just helps support
support this channel and supports all of this free content that I love creating for you guys. And if you want any more tool reviews or want me to dive into anything specifically, feel free to leave a comment below this video. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the thumbs up does go a long way. It helps the YouTube algorithm see that my content is helpful. And so it pushes my videos out to new people. And that is really supportive of the channel and I appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.